With the spot price of silver only being $22 and change right now on Black Friday, you put those two things together, you slap a deal on top of the spot price being lower, you and I are able to get way more silver. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and staying safe. Today I want to talk about the spot price of silver dropping now down to the $22 range which is almost like a Black Friday sale in and of itself. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you wanna get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. Use promo code THANKS for a 15% discount. So today, I woke up to a very pleasant surprise. As many of you know, for the last couple of months, silver has barely even moved. We were looking at silver in the $24 range. It's been 24 and change for several months now. A couple days ago, we saw silver drop to the $23 range. This was great news. This was exciting. And this was only a couple of days ago. And if anybody is a VIP club member and tuned into the VIP club stream on Wednesday night, you will know that I talked about how that I hoped spot price would stay low come Black Friday. And the whole Thanksgiving weekend, because we would not only have Black Friday, but we would have an entire weekend of sales, and then we would have a Cyber Monday sale on top of that. And if we have spot price as low as possible during all of these sales, it's just a win-win. And I talked about this during the VIP club stream just two nights ago. And by the way, speaking of the VIP club, I'm actually doing a giveaway over there. This one is three times bigger than my previous giveaways. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is simply be a VIP club member before December 1st. You only have three days to join if you haven't already. That way, after December 1st, I can pull random names from the list of VIP club members, get in contact with them, so I can send all of the winners all of their prizes. Link in the description if you want to join. You get three days left. And it's not just giveaways, it's also privately held live streams, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale, and you can watch all the YouTube videos commercial free. Link will be in the description if you want to join. But speaking of silver and the spot price of silver, Today, an even better surprise than the surprise that we got earlier this week. Spot price is now, as I'm recording today's video, about $22.66. This is, in my opinion, fantastic. The lower, the better. The way I see it, the way I've seen it for several years now, is that if you've only been stacking for a couple of years or less, if you see spot price, in the red, you should be jumping for joy because that means you will be able to get even more. And what's funny is that this Black Friday, there are plenty of sales going on. I have probably about 10 tabs open on my computer. I have Atmax, JM, SD, Provident, Modern Coin Mart, Monument Metals, and a bunch of others. I'm looking at all of the deals. I'm bouncing from tab to tab to tab, seeing who has the best deals and sales and discounts going on. And I am going to go ahead and assume that throughout the course of the weekend, they're going to have different sales advertised. They're going to be switching things around, promoting something different every day. That's just my assumption. That's what I saw last year. Unfortunately, last year, I was not able to capitalize on as much silver as I wanted to, but I did get a handful. And I got a lot of silver the Black Friday before. It's funny, if you take a look at this time this year and compare it to this time two years ago because things were completely different. It was a whole different world. We were looking at $14 an ounce silver. We were looking at only one, two, maybe $3 overspot premiums. People who were walking into banks with masks on would get arrested. Times have changed. And unfortunately, we're no longer seeing $14 silver. We're unfortunately no longer seeing one, two, three dollar premiums. We're looking at $22 silver. We're looking at three, four, five, six dollar premiums, depending on what you're getting and where you're getting it. But it is what it is. I am gonna be trying my best to capitalize to the best of my ability. I'm gonna be keeping my eyes peeled. I'm probably gonna be placing multiple really small orders daily 
for the next couple of days because I have a brand new piece of silver that I ordered a couple of days ago in the mail on the way. So I picked that up. I am going to be stopping at my local coin shop this weekend and I'm going to be picking up just a little bit of 90% at least unless they have really good prices then I'll pick up quite a bit. But my goal for this weekend is to order a little bit of silver today on Black Friday, tomorrow, Saturday, because there's still going to be sales going on, Sunday, because there are still going to be sales going on, and then Cyber Monday, because there's obviously going to be tons and tons and tons of sales going on there as well. Now, with the spot price of silver being $22 and change right now, I thought to myself, I didn't say it out loud, I didn't say it during the VIP club stream the other day, but I was hoping that spot price would obviously stay low. I didn't expect for it to go lower. I was actually kind of nervous that it would creep back up on Black Friday, and then when the markets are closed, the spot price is pretty much going to be locked in place the entire weekend. It looks like the spot price is going to be locked in place even lower than what we're used to for this entire weekend, which is excellent news, and I'm definitely excited about that. I was nervous. I didn't want to speak it into existence that the spot price would go back up a little bit and we would still obviously be able to get Black Friday and Cyber Monday and the whole weekend sales and whatnot. But if you slap a Black Friday sale and a Cyber Monday sale on top of an even lower than what we're used to spot price, it's just a win-win. So the way I see it, we're able to get more bang for our buck. We're able to get more money for our currency and if you are doing what I've been doing these last couple of weeks, I've been very, very cash heavy. I have not been converting my dollars into any precious metals, besides a few, made some exceptions. But for the most part, I haven't been converting my dollars into precious metals. I've been saving as much currency, as much fiat as possible because I wanted to save up for the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales, the whole Thanksgiving weekend sales. And not only that, it's been a very expensive last couple of months. And I recently also purchased some pretty expensive prepping gear. And I'm going to be posting some review videos throughout the month of December. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But with the spot price of silver only being $22 and change right now on Black Friday, you put those two things together, you slap a deal on top of the spot price being lower, you and I are able to get way more silver. That's what I'm doing. That's why I have probably about 10 different tabs open on my computer, and I'm excited. Like I said, this time two years ago, I thought that was a sale when spot price was only 14 and change. Now we're looking at $22 and change, and I'm excited about that because I've made peace with the fact that I don't think I'm ever going to see silver under $20 again. If we do, that would be beautiful, that would be fantastic, but I'm not gonna sit around with my fingers crossed hoping for it to happen. I'm gonna move forward, not back. There's nothing I can do to change the spot price of silver, so unfortunately it is what it is, but I've already told myself it's not gonna happen. If I end up being wrong, which I hope I do end up being wrong, that would be great, but hey, I'm just gonna capitalize on 22 silver while I can. There's always the possibility that this is the lowest we ever see it go, I told myself, that last year, I told myself that two years ago, and moving forward, I believe it all levels out. Moving forward, I think it all makes sense to be converting my dollars into silver consistently, regularly, every single time I get paid in those fake dollar piece of paper glorified IOU debt notes in exchange for my most valuable asset, my time, when I'm done selling my time or trading my time for dollars, I could take those dollars, take care of the financial responsibilities, and with the amount of dollars left over afterwards, I can convert into what I believe might just be the most undervalued asset on the planet, the silver. That's what I've been doing for just about three years now, about maybe two or three weeks away from the three-year stack anniversary, I started stacking in the middle of December of 2017, so 2018 was my first full year of stacking, and around this time two years ago, that was my first Black Friday while stacking the silver and the gold, and I capitalized on that. That's when I got my first 10-ounce silver bar. It was a sunshine bar. Actually, it was a 5-ounce sunshine bar, and I got the 10-ounce sunshine bar on Cyber Monday, so just a couple days apart. 
I got tons and tons and tons of 90% silver. I got some random coins. I got Philharmonics. I got random Canadian coins that I don't even remember the name of off the top of my head. I got silver eagles, silver maples. I got a bunch of silver rounds. I got other silver bars. And I didn't get any gold, actually, now that I think about it. But I did pick up some gold shortly after in the month of December of 2018. And then moving into 2019, that was right after I reached my first full year of stacking, moving into my second year. And that entire year, unfortunately, spot price started to climb a little bit. We weren't looking at $14, $15 silver anymore. We started seeing $16, $17 silver. And this time last year on Black Friday, spot price was $17 and change, which by the way, I still consider to be ridiculously low. I consider that to be a full blown opportunity. I said for my first two years of stacking that in my opinion and from my perspective, not a financial advisor by the way, I'm a guy with a camera so this isn't financial advice, but in my opinion, I considered anything under $20 a fire sale, a complete and total opportunity. Not to say that when the spot price surpasses $20 that it's no longer an opportunity. I absolutely do believe it's still an opportunity, hence why I'm still stacking it, but the way I saw it was under $20? Are you kidding me? Of course I'm going to go full throttle. I'm going to stack as aggressively as I can. And that's exactly what I did. Did I walk away with 50,000 troy ounces of silver? Absolutely not. I worked with what I had, the amount of dollar bills that I had. I believe in doing what you can where you are with what you have. And that's exactly what I did. And that's exactly what I continue to do. And words can't even express how satisfying it is to watch your small pile of silver, little by little by little, turn into a mountain of silver. Words can't express how satisfying that is and how rewarding it is. I believe silver is the most rewarding asset or the most rewarding thing that I've ever really been involved in. And like I said, it's going on about three years now, so I'm just getting started. Three years? That's no time at all. Imagine where you're gonna be 30 years into stacking. That's what I say to myself all the time. Three years, that's nothing. Give me three decades and we'll see where I'm at. But everything I said in this video, like I said, it's just in my opinion, from my perspective, if you have not yet started stacking and you're thinking about it, obviously do your own research, do your due diligence, make your own decisions based off of your own conclusions, not mine. But my conclusion right now to my surprise, the spot price is lower than it was yesterday. And anytime that I see spot price in the red, so to speak, anytime we see a little bit of a dip or a pullback, or if we see spot price drop for whatever reason, even if it's just by a dollar or so, I think it's an opportunity. And unfortunately, if you're anything like me, you're not walking around in a house completely covered in cash. It's not like we have endless supply of paper currency all over the place so we do run out of currency and then we got to go back to work and trade our time for more currency so it's not like we can get silver every single time we see the spot price dip but if you have cash on hand and you are interested in converting your dollars into silver for long-term wealth preservation purposes for similar reasons I'm stacking for it's all for the long term I really don't care too much about what spot price is doing I don't worry about it too much when I see it drop I capitalize when I can, if I can, if I have the currency, if I have the fiat on hand, of course I'm going to do it. But if spot price is going up, I'm still going to be converting my dollars into it anyway. Like I said, I believe it'll all level out. I believe it'll all make sense in the long run. I have no idea what spot price is going to be 5, 10, 15 years from now. I'm not a psychic. I don't make predictions. I've never made a spot price prediction, but I do believe we're going to continue to see an upward trajectory, especially with the way the world is going. The fact that we're in the digital age right now, getting deeper and deeper and deeper into the technological realm and with silver being useful for batteries and solar panels and electronics and cars and everything that it's used for. Silver has over 10,000 different uses. I believe 
The deeper we get into the digital age, the more silver is going to be needed, the more silver is going to be useful, the more silver is going to be in demand, and to be honest with you, I want my piece of the pie in terms of a very small fraction of a decimal of a percent of the global silver demand. I want that silver. I want to watch it grow. I want to see it increase in value. I believe it will. I don't know for a fact that it will, but I believe that it will. And I believe it'll all pay off. I don't mind converting my dollars into silver when the spot price is a little bit higher than what I would consider to meet my comfort zone. I picked up silver at $14 an ounce. I picked up silver at $27 an ounce. To me, it doesn't make that big of a difference. Of course, it's a little bit disheartening not being able to get as much money for your currency. This time two years ago, or this time last year, we were able to get a Silver Eagle for $20 or less. And that was with the premium included. Nowadays, $20 can't even get you an ounce of silver at spot. So it is a little bit disheartening not being able to get as much silver for the same exact amount of dollar bills. It takes more dollar bills, not even to get more silver. It takes more dollar bills to get the same amount of silver. Of course, it's disheartening. Of course, it probably doesn't make many of us happy financially. We like to get the most bang for our buck. And if we're going to be converting our dollars into silver, the lower the spot price, the better. But it is what it is. I believe it'll all level out. I believe it'll all make sense long term. People say, what do you think spot price is going to do in the next six months? Or what do you think spot price is going to be next year? I don't know, nor do I care. It makes no difference to me what spot price is six months or a year from now. I care more about what silver is going to be doing in six years to 12 years, not six months to 12 months. I just can't help it. I have that long-term mentality. I'm focused on several years, several decades down the road, and I believe silver is going to help propel me forward as we see that upward trajectory. So... If anybody has any Black Friday deals or sales or discounts that they already capitalized on and you want to share the wealth, if you want to share the information, share the knowledge, if you know of a discount on a website that maybe some of us don't already know about, head on down to the comments and let me know if you plan on going full throttle this weekend. Black Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Cyber Monday. Have you been saving up the currency for this? Have you been saving up the cash for this? Have you been saving up the fiat for this? So you can finally trade those dying debt notes away for real, true, honest money. Is that what your intentions are this weekend? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to Black Friday sales for precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. I posted eight today, not one, not two, not seven, eight. And of course you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. Don't forget, you only have until December 1st to join the VIP club if you want to be automatically entered into the giveaway. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way, is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down in the comments. And let me know what are your thoughts 
on the spot price of silver, dropping now to the $22 range. It is 22 and change, not 23 and change like it was yesterday, not 24 and change like it's been pretty much consistently for the last couple of months. It's $22 and change, coincidentally, on Black Friday. And there are tons and tons and tons of sales and deals and discounts going on right now. So if you put the two together, in my opinion, it's a win-win. What are your thoughts on spot price being low with all of these deals going on? Are you capitalizing on the opportunity? Are you still standoffish for whatever reason? And if you know of any Black Friday or Thanksgiving weekend or Cyber Monday sales coming up, head on down to the comments and let me know if you've capitalized on any silver and gold deals or discounts today or yesterday or you know of any that are coming up. Head on down to the comments and let me know because I plan on jumping in on those opportunities as well. Let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.